Good afternoon, peeps. Well, today, as you can tell, I'm going to be doing something completely, completely different to my normal stuff. So today, I am going to be reviewing my new favourite drinks, which is Sneak Energy. Um, this is the new glow-in-the-dark shaker. Um, it does glow in the dark, I have to take my word for it. Not dark enough right here, right now, so can't tell the difference. Um, I really like it. It's not crystal clear, but brand spanking new, hot off the press pretty much. Wicked. Really like it. Um, anyway, so the flavour, put you back there. The flavour I'm going to be testing is unreleased. Okay, this isn't going to be the first time I've tried this. I have probably had, I don't know, I've had a fair few. I've probably had half the tub. Um, and I've been trying to figure out what the flavour is. Haven't really 100% figured it out. I'm still struggling. Um, I think I have a better idea now. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure. But it's really nice, actually. Very nice drink. So, um, anyway, packaging is pretty cool. I like the little bunny rabbit. That's um, Sneak's mascot. Um, of course, normally this would have been stuck across here. You don't get that on any of the other tubs, but unfortunately, this isn't going to be a first try. But I thought I'm going to review all of these because I like the drinks so much. But first thing I want to say is these are advertised as a gaming energy drink. Um, I don't think that they are a gaming energy drink alone. They've advertised as a gaming energy drink, but of course, any energy drink is going to give you more focus and everything like that. So... It's quite a nice little niche that they've actually um, tapped into. These are the first powders I've actually even wanted to try because I don't like the idea of a, a powdery drink. But I'm actually shocked by these. They mix up very well. Um, yeah, and they taste amazing. Everything I've tried has tasted really, really good. So anyway, <clears throat> in here I have, this is cold. It's not ice cold. I haven't got ice cubes in it like most people seem to do. Um, there's 400 milliliters in there, which is apparently what one scoop of this is supposed to go in. Um, so I'm just going to show you inside in this. I don't know if you can see what's inside there. To me, it looks like it's very white on the camera, but there's a an orangey, pinky tone to it. This is obviously the scoop. Don't want to lose any powder, which obviously has the, the bunny there and the bunny on the back and... Yeah, it's a scoop with a bunny on it. It's not anything to get excited about, but it's very good. And these, there's a line just there. It's kind of in the in line with the handle. That's where you're supposed to fill them up to. You're not supposed to fill to the very top. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do, undo that. I've got dust on my bloody sheet, mate. And I'm gonna get, Roughly, come on, level out. Too much. Yeah, that's probably more than enough. And I'm just going to pour it in here. I don't like chucking it in very quick because I hate losing the powder. It's yeah, the little puff that came out there. I don't know. It's kind of like amber nectar to someone like me. Because I've been drinking energy drinks for, well, pretty much since. Um, Red Bull actually came out so I'm actually looking for an energy drink which you don't have to spend you know these are about 35 pound for a tub for 40 servings so they're a little bit cheaper than a Red Bull or a Monster but it's not massive difference but you know it works out cheaper and it probably is healthier because you know you get more water and what I do like about these is the the fact that you can put more water in you know you can put more scoops in so you could have like double the shot or if the flavor was too strong you could have more water and get more to drink so anyway as you can see it's kind of gone orangey a load of powder at the bottom just going to shake it up a little and as you can see pretty much the powder's pretty much already gone <laughs> right. 
So I'm not sure what the colours are showing up on here. I think the lights are reflecting, but it's a an orange hue. Um, I don't know if you can hear it fizzing, but they do fizz. Don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get a smell of it and tell you what I think it smells like. I've smelled it before, but I'm just going to kind of tell you what I think it smells like. So anyway, this is Sneak Unleashed. Sorry, Unreleased. Smell-wise, it smells like a, um, like a Barocca. It's got that sort of a, it smells kind of orangey, but not orange. It's got a nice smell, actually. But I, at first, when I tasted this, I thought it was orange. But now I'm quite sure it's not orange. So the more I smell it, it smells like a love heart. You know, the little sweets with the, you know, I love you, you love me, I love your sister, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, it smells more like a love heart. I don't know, more like an orange refresher. But taste-wise, I'm not sure. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. It kind of, it kind of does taste like a love heart or a refresher, but it kind of um, it kind of reminds me of Iron Brew. I don't know if that's the flavour, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. And I'm not sure if that's just because of the colour. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get another drink. Hang on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. To me, it's. I think it's. It has that sort of love heart flavour to it, like a kind of, like a slight tangy fruit to it. Um, but I'm also veering on the edge of kind of iron brew. But as a flavour, it's actually really nice. It's not sour. Um, and I'm a bit of a sour freak, so I can't wait to try all the um, all the blue raspberries and everything like that because I love sour flavours. <clears throat> so this one, this is kind of a, a little bit sour and sweet at the same time. This one I think is a really good flavour. Um, obviously, the the unreleased is a very short mm. period of release. Um, you can't just go and buy it now because it's it's pretty much. Yeah, you can only get it for a certain limited amount of time. So if you can, get it while it's hot because it's a nice drink. It's nice and refreshing. Um, there is no powdery aftertaste. Uh, I could I could definitely drink this. Definitely drink it without actually, you know, I wouldn't force myself. It's actually a nice refreshing drink and, you know, you're filling up on your water and everything. So I would say <clears throat> out, of, out of 10, I would give it a solid... Jew, man, I do love this little shaker. Such a cool little bunny. Um, I would give it a solid. I'm fearing say seven and a half to eight. I'm gonna I'm gonna go seven point seven. I'm gonna be awkward, <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, oh, bloody over nine minutes now. So for this one, seven point seven, nice flavour. Sneak, very good. I'm going to review all the next ones coming up soon. As soon as I get them, I'm getting the little sachets and some of them I've got in tubs. I'm going to review them as soon as I can get a chance. Um, but for now, it's me and Sneak Energy. Sneak Energy unreleased are out of here. Power bra. This is what this will give you. And um, Deadbug Davey is out of here. Laters.